received today when it comes to love, okay? So let's just jump right in. All right, Spirit, what does the collective need to receive? In the past, I see maybe there was some type of juggling going on here. Okay, uh, he could be a Gemini Libra Aquarius. Whoa, Gemini Libra Aquarius. Yeah, you, I feel like right now you got you know you got your guard up. You're not dealing with none of this bullshit. You you're not taking you're not taking no. What is this? Yeah. You're not, you're not taking no apologies or nothing, all right? You're in the Queen of Swords energy right now. You got your sword up. You're not trying to deal with nobody right now. Because I feel like this person in the past, he um he was juggling you and somebody else, all right? He could be, he could have been maybe just, you know, maybe talking. Maybe you found out online or something like that, all right? But he was juggling you with somebody else. Let's see what else. So now I see that, you know, you cut them off. Okay, because this person is not, they're not learning their lesson with this judgment card. Like, they're not really learning, they're not learning their lesson. You know, maybe he got caught up with a karmic. Let's see what else. Okay, so in the near future, I don't see like no reconciliation. If y'all, if you was like wondering, like, if this person's gonna try to come in, like, I feel like you got your guard up. You're not dealing with this because, anyway, this person is coming in with the, with the same old bullshit. Yeah, look, emotionally immature. Okay, so he's still emotionally immature. He's still, you know, childish, selfish. I feel like he's just gonna come in trying to take you, but it's like he wanna take you off the market. You know, like, he just want to have his cake and eat it, too. Okay? He's not... He's not serious, you know? Like, he just wants to have you there. And he want to keep doing whatever he's doing with all this juggling and all this bullshit. And there's still no balance, you know, when he comes back. Still going to be an imbalance with that temperance in the reverse. Yeah, look, reveal secrets. Absolutely. Like, I feel like he's going to be hiding things from you. Yeah, look, uh, sadness, emotional loss. The Ace of Cups in the reverse. Okay, unrequited love. You're going to realize this person is still doing dumb. And you're going to end up just breaking up with them again. So, whoever needs to receive this message, uh, your spirit guys want you to know. Oh, and there goes there goes a bell. So, I'm going to have to cut the video short. But, um... Okay, I'll just I'll do another video, guys. But basically, that could be a sign as well. Maybe this person's gonna try to come back, come knocking on your door or some shit. All right, <laughs> but don't give in. All right, my bad, y'all. That was UPS. I didn't even, I wasn't even expecting that. All right, so um, back to what we was doing here. So yeah, so bottom of the deck, as you can see, we have all uh, the strength card in the reverse. Yeah, well, we have the four of wands also in the reverse. I feel like you know you're just gonna feel like you don't have. You don't have the strength anymore to try to make this work. You're going to just give up on this shit, okay? And with uh, four wands, you know, unhappy family, uh, basically no stability here. So you're just going to let it go. You're going to end up just letting it go. So, if so, I feel like maybe Spirit is guiding you here to get this message. So you don't even bother wasting your time going back with this person and trying to give them another, another chance. Because as you can see... They're just going to come back and waste your time, girl. Alright, let's see. From here, we got... Alright, Spirit, what does the collective need to receive?
okay so with decision it's time to decide about this relationship okay so this is the time like you got the information that you were looking for i feel like you was looking for answers and spirit guided you here to get this clarity all right so it's time now to decide you know to just leave it for good okay with that queen of swords energy you know keep your energy like that you know like you, you you're not you're not taking no bullshit from nobody okay so with rejection this rejection is actually divine protection spirit is telling you maybe you wanted to make this work and maybe you you a little bit hard on yourself you know thinking that it was you and stuff like that and it wasn't you all right this person has a lot of healing to do a lot of growing up to do all right they're emotionally immature so they're gonna be like this with anybody that they meet okay nobody's gonna be happy with this person until they heal and they evolve and they grow up okay so this rejection is actually divine protection your spirit guides are protecting you from the situation because like i said he was going to come back and do the same bullshit, all right? So don't take whatever's going on here as something that is uh, because of you, all right? Nothing is because of you. It's actually them, okay? You're too good for them. They're protecting you from this, okay? That's why it's never going to work out. This person, they need to grow up, okay? And it's not your responsibility to wait for them to grow up either. You move on and you do what you got to do with your life. And if it's meant to be, you guys will come back together. If not, keep it pushing, all right? So with leap of leap of faith, uh, it's safe to make the move you're considering. Yeah, the move that you're considering to cut them off and just move on with your life, that's what they want you to do. Take the leap of faith, all right? And with mastery, you've learned the spiritual lesson. This person was in your life to teach you something, all right? How to love yourself, how to put yourself first, you know, how to whatever, you know, it, it's going to be different lessons for each of y'all, but we all needed to learn something from these people, you know, these, these people that come into our lives, whether they be friends, lovers, family members, in this case, a lover, there was something that you needed to learn here. And Spirit is saying, you learned the lesson, now you need to just let it go, all right? There's nothing else to hold on to, no waiting for, for nobody to grow up, or none of that. Okay, let's pull from here. Since we have le learned the spiritual lesson, I'm going to pull from this deck real quick. So deception and guilt, someone is not being honest or they are withholding information. So they're not being honest about their intentions. Again, he just want to come in and manipulate you, you know, tell you what you want to hear and just try to get what he wants out of this, which is to have his cake and eat it too and continue to do him while he has you on smash. All right. And that ain't going to work over here. Okay, so with guilt, they are feeling guilty, you know, he's feeling shame, he's feeling, you know, like he fucked up, he, you know, he's feeling regrets for what he did in the past, which is, again, why he's coming back, but as you can see, he's still coming back with deception, all right, with manipulation, with illusions, with trickery, okay, he's not coming back, keeping it real. So with sacred space and separation, Spirit is telling you, you know, stay in, in this separation energy. Don't come back. Again, this queen of swords, keep your sword up. You know, don't, don't let this person back in. All right. Uh, time out. Clear your energy. Space brings clarity. So basically, you know, cleanse your energy from this person. Cleanse this person, you know, away from your whole life. Like that's it. Cut them out. Leave it alone. You know, it's time for this separation right here. And with heart chakra, they're telling you, don't let this situation close out your heart. You know, like understand that it was a lesson. Okay. Something that you needed to learn from this. Don't be on some type of energy like, oh, fuck niggas. Niggas ain't shit. No, we don't do that because then you're going to stay in a low vibration and you're going to block your own love from coming into your life. Okay. So you cannot be like that. You have to really look from a higher perspective, see what you needed to learn here, understand what you needed to learn, and that's it. Understand that. Be like, okay, it was a lesson. I needed to learn from this and keep it pushing. Don't feel bad about it. Don't feel angry. Don't feel bitter. None of that. Just learn what you need to learn and keep it pushing. All right? Uh, keep your heart open, okay? You have to remain optimistic when it comes to love. Don't be thinking every, everybody's the same. No, everybody's not the same, <laughs> all right? So try to just stay in a high vibration after this situation, all right? So you can attract something better. So you can stay on a high vibration and attract a higher vibrational love that you're not going to be dealing with all this other bullshit from, okay? All right, y'all. So that was the reading. I hope I was able to give clarity to whoever needs to receive it. If this was for you, then you already know. Like, comment, share, subscribe. Share with somebody that needs to hear this as well, okay? All right, y'all. Tap in.